family and welcome back to another inspiring episode of Talk the Talk. I'm your host, my name is Desh Palay Bechen and today I'm chatting to a phenomenal or inspiring woman. Today we are proudly introducing to you another trailblazing female in finance and insurance in the motoring industry and she's a consultant um, at a renowned car dealership with her expertise, unwavering determination, and commitment to empowering customers. She has revolutionized the traditionally male-dominated world of automotive FNI or finance. So join us as we explore her inspiring journey in the motoring trade and discover her strategies for empowering car buyers and witness her transformative role in helping customers navigate um, the complexities of financing and insurance in the automotive industry. I also want to mention she is one of our semi-finalists for the Motoring Woman of the Year Awards 2023. So without further ado, let's welcome Natasha Bwatha and she is the FNI consultant at Mercedes Benz Kunene with Bank which is part of the Bedvest McCarthy Group. And as always, this interview is proudly brought to you by Siriti Solutions and MFC and Evo by NetBank. Hello, Natasha. Hello. How are you? I'm good, and you? Why are you being so formal? <laughs> <laughs> um, Natasha, congratulations on your nomination. Thank you so very, very much. Ah, yes, and we really appreciate the fact that you um, accepted the nomination and you recognize that this platform is not just for you being recognized and receiving an accolade, because now you're at the semi-finals actually, but uh, to pay it forward, to use this platform to inspire other women. So thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Okay, so tell our viewers more about your journey in motoring South Africa? My journey started just after school in the motor industry. I started working for the company where my, both my parents were working. Mm -hmm. I started as a receptionist and worked all my way up in the admin. And um, I've done everything in admin. Mm -hmm. Invoicing, warranty clock, any, anything that you can think of. And I spoke to my dad, which was the dealer principal, and I said to him, I actually need something more. And he was the one that advised me and said, why don't you become an FNI? So I did my courses on FNI. And seven years later, my dad started his own company where I became his FNI. And what, I worked, what company was that? It was a used car stand. Okay, is it still there? No. Okay. Unfortunately, he had closed down um, due to his um, illness. Oh. And then I went to a Ford company where I also worked for a few years in Clarksdorp. Mm -hmm. And then I spread my wings all the Isn't way. Isn't that on the other side of Whitbank? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> then I spread my wings all the way to Whitbank where I started my journey with uh, also a, a multi franchise. Mm -hmm. And then I ended up now with McCarthy Mercedes Benz where mm. I'm still. Okay, famous. so. Natasha, how do you feel? I know you said that you've been following us long before you were actually nominated um, for this year. How do you feel about these platforms? I must tell you that I think you guys are doing a phenomenal job. Mm -hmm. When I got my nomination, I was thinking, why me? Mm. And then I was thinking and I believe that it's not all about me. It's maybe getting my voice out there for a woman's voice that can't be heard. Oh my. So, um, yeah, oh. that's my beliefs. And thank you. Thank you guys for doing what you do. Thank you. I'm not speechless. I'm never <laughs> speechless, but I like that. I'm going to accept this because I'm going to use my voice for those that don't have a voice. Oh. Yes. That's what we need to do. Thank exactly. you, that's the spirit we need. Natasha, this is a question I love asking because this is when you see all the ladies' passion coming through uh, with regard to their brand. So I'm gonna ask you about the Mercedes brand. What do you love most about representing Mercedes? Well, for me, it's when a customer signs the contract and he steps out of my office, I know that that customer didn't just buy another vehicle. Mm -hmm. That customer became part of the Mercedes-Benz family. Mm -hmm. So it's a repeat customer. You're gonna see that customer again and again. Especially when you're in a little town like Fitbank, right? That's it's just true. one dealership. Yes, that's right. true. Okay. Yes. 
So and I've got a passion for what I do and um, especially when my customers comes back to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, how important do you believe is a healthy state um, of mind in the workplace? Do you have a team behind you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay. We've got a, even a WhatsApp group that we call ourselves Team Awesomeness. Mm -hmm. um, without cool. my salespeople, I wouldn't be where I am today. Mm -hmm. So we've really got support and we support each other. Mm -hmm. So yes. Absolutely. So in terms of um, discrimination as a female, have you faced any discrimination in terms of a customer coming through and like, listen, I want to speak to uh, your manager or something like that because you're female. Have you faced anything like that and how did you react to it? I must be honest with you, all the dealerships that I've worked before, um, I've never came across something like that. Uh -huh. I've heard of it before, but um, I'm one of the lucky ones. Uh -huh. I've always been res um, respected and treated fairly. So, yeah, like I said, I'm one of the lucky ones. And if a woman, because you've heard of situations like that, if a female have to go through that, how would you advise them to react to the situation? Well, normally if a customer demands, he wants to speak to a, a male or the manager, just do what the customer asks mm -hmm. and don't feel offended by it because right. you know what you do, you do good. Right. So. right. Okay, so any words of advice for young females that want to join our trade? I would tell them, um, follow your passion. You mm -hmm. have to have passion and remember, um, Stay consistent, work hard, and be patient with yourself. Mm -hmm. You'll get there. What do you do in your free time? Well, um, I do paintings, uh -huh. and I love reading books, mm -hmm. and hanging out with friends. So what do people in Woodbank do in their free time? <laughs> <laughs> in I'd really love to know that. <laughs> Well, we've got a um, action cricket uh -huh. and indoor netball. Mm -hmm. I used to play for them. Uh -huh. um, so normally it's on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay. So normally even in the group at work, we would go there. There's a nice little dam there as well, hey? It is. Yeah. Yeah. There's you, a lot of places close by. Yeah. So Did yeah. You, that dam that you have there is a fishing facilities and yes, all of that. that okay, I'm coming to visit you in Big Bank. You're okay. more than welcome. <laughs> I just want to say once again, well done on your semi-finalist position, well done on whatever it is that you are doing at your dealership and the contribution you are making to the motoring trade. We appreciate you. We appreciate you driving all the way here to see us too. And we wish you luck. All, all the best in this journey with us. It's not a competition, it's a movement. And I think you are using this platform in the best possible way to pay it forward so thank you so much thank you guys for having me oh, you're welcome so ladies i have found two quotes that reminds me of natasha and her determination and a confidence i think confidence is everything so the one is in the middle of every difficulty lies opportunity and always do your best what you plant now you will harvest later so ladies embrace the power of selflessness for when you consistently seek to do what is best for those around you your true brilliance emerges cultivate a genuine sense of offering um, extending kindness support and compassion to others by making um, the well-being a priority you illuminate your own path with the radiant light Embrace the opportunity to positively impact lives for it is through selfless acts that you truly shine and live an in, um, you know, an immeasurable, rather, that's the right word to use, an immeasurable um, life value um, and mark on the world around you. So always see what's best you can do for everyone around you it is the sense of offering that will make you shine and with that i'd like to remind you that the question should never be who's going to let me it should always be who's going to stop me 